All right, here's an application of uh, uh, arc length in uh, an example called linear velocity. So you might recall that velocity, sometimes we call that speed, speed, and that is t equal to distance divided by time. Um, like in miles per hour and in feet per second. All of these are speed. So if you think about the circle and an arc length, so let's just draw an arc length. We'll just call this point P. It's at the end of some arc length. And if you can visualize this um, point moving around the circle, like a merry-go-round, um, how fast it's moving around the circle. And uh, so to calculate that, uh, the formula for velocity, velocity is going to be the arc length, because that's our distance and divided by time. And arc length you know as S. And we can uh, also say S is the radius times the central angle, theta, divided by time. So you can use, you can think of any of these formulas and commit those to memory. They mean the same thing. It's just that one of them uses arc length and the other one has radius times theta in place of arc length. Okay. So let's do an example. All right, so we have an example here. We've got a point on a bicycle wheel and it's rotating and we know that the radius of the bike wheel is three inches. Hey, that's a pretty small bike wheel. Um, and we know that the arc length, um, no we don't know the arc length, we know the angle, there we go, the angle is five pi over six and again that's got to be in radians which this one is and we know that it rotates where time is two seconds. So it's rotated, uh, let me draw this for you. So here's our wheel. I know three inches is a pretty small wheel. So five pi over six. So it left here and it rotated this way and it got all the way over here in two seconds. So we want to calculate the velocity. So we can use the formula. Velocity equals the radius times the central angle measure divided by time. And let's substitute those in. So the radius we said was 3, and that's 3 inches. And the central angle measure is 5 pi over 6 and our time is two and seconds. And do you see when I'm all done, the units are going to be inches per second. So when we multiply that out, you could simply just use your calculator for that. When we multiply that out, we get 3.93 inches per second. So that's how fast that point is rotating around that uh, pretty small bike three-inch radius. Okay, the end of this example.